Hey, sweeties. Today we are talking about the Instant Pot Omni Pro Oven. I'm going to give you my review. I purchased this from Target and have been cooking with it. And I'm going to let you know how it's going. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Eh. Anywho, we'll talk about the ins and outs, the ups and downs. We'll go over the measurements and I'll let you know my thoughts. But first, please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell. Now let's get into this Instant Pot Omni Pro Oven. The Instant Pot Omni Pro Oven multifunction air fryer toaster oven. Let me get the little manual here so I can read you the book. Air fry, roast, broil, bake, slow cook, warm, reheat, proof. So if you're baking bread, if you all these bread, bread bakers out there, this can also proof your bread and bake it. Toast and dehydrate and also rotisserie. So it comes with the rotisserie spit. So you can put your chicken, your roast on here and it will turn and cook, supposedly. And this is the tool to retrieve your cooked finished rotisserie item. It also comes with an air fry basket, a cooking pan, and you use these two together inside the oven. It comes with a wire rack and a temperature probe to help keep your cooking on track. This plugs into the inside of the oven and then the this sharp piece right here goes into the thickest part of whatever uh, protein you're cooking and it will um, keep track of the internal temperature and it will no give you a notification when it has completed cooking and reached the temperature that you have set it for. It also comes with the get started guide, a recipe book, and a couple of cards advertising an air purifier and to register your item. The oven measures a little, just about 14 and a half inches high by 17 and a half inches wide and 17 inches deep. The inside is about 13 inches wide and 12 inches deep you may be able to fit you may be able to fit a 9 by 13 inch pan this is actually a 9 by about 12 and a half and it's a, almost a straight side there's no handles and that can fit inside well just be aware that this part here where the um, temperature probe plugs in sticks out and may get in your way if your pan is wider than that. Let's see if the Instant Pot Omni Pro Oven can handle the basic tests like making toast. We put six like slices of regular bread in here to toast on the rack and it tells you the levels where you should place the rack for toasting or broiling or proofing. So we set it with the uh, adjustments. I really like this display, I gotta say. It's so clear, um, this touch screen. And that's actually my favorite thing about this oven is the display. So we'll set this to toast and it indeed does make toast. It's fairly even. Uh, let's take a look at it from across side to side. Some pieces are a little darker than others, but nothing majorly off about it. And top and bottom toast, you don't have to flip your toasts. Um, this was a level four. They, it toasts from levels one to seven. This was level four. So it did a fine job with toasting. You can also make your frozen pizza in here because I know that's what a lot of folks use these air fryer ovens for. I'll put the baking, the cooking pan underneath to catch any tree cheese that drips down and then put the 
pizza on the wire rack and I followed the box instructions but I should not have let it go for as long as the box says because it got a little bit well done for my liking um, sometimes with to air fryer ovens you have to adjust the time and temperature because they can cook hot and fast Let's put the rotisserie to the test and make a rotisserie chicken according to the directions that are in the recipe book. We just seasoned a chicken of, this is a 3.6 pound chicken. The recipe book says that you can use a three to a four pound chicken, a whole chicken on the rotisserie. We seasoned inside, outside, uh, under the skin, in the cavities, and then we're going to truss it just as the recipe book says. So we'll take a, uh, some butcher's twine. We folded the chicken wings back behind the chicken and then we'll use the butcher's twine to tie those wings down to the side and then back under the legs and tie the legs together. That'll keep the chicken from flopping around as it spins on the rotisserie and it will also keep it um, tight in one unit so that it cooks evenly. So now we'll take the, uh, you can cut off any extra string too. We'll take the rotisserie spit and the little forks that come on it. There's a screw to tighten those onto the chicken. So you just slide it through the cavity and push those tines in to the bottom and into the top of the chicken and then tighten the screws down. It's a little tricky because there are square shaped holes to line it up. Um, and get those are two square shaped holes that you got to fit each end through but after a little little work you push those tines on and then screw down the uh, forks in place to hold the chicken so that it's not sliding around <laughs> it took me a little time to get that together Now that we've got the chicken loaded onto our spit, we are going to load it into the sort of sockets for the rotisserie. It's got a duller side and this pointy side. The pointy side goes into this little sort of hole right there. You slide that in and then you slide the other side down onto that little hook. And then you can press roast. And you'll see there lit up, it says uh, convection and rotate. You want to make sure it has a little rotate symbol. You can check your time, your temperature and your time. Time for 400 using the arrows up and down. Uh, temperature for 55 minutes. These are the instructions in the book. And let's hit start. And let's say it's starting to rotate and turn. I put the cooking pan underneath to catch juices so that they wouldn't drip onto the heating elements in the bottom of this uh, unit. But unfortunately, <laughs> this 3.67 <laughs> pound chicken no. is too big for this unit. I, I could not find a smaller chicken than this. I had to go to a specialty butcher to find a three and a little over a half pound chicken. In the grocery stores, they're all four, four and a half pounds. Only five pounds. The chicken is hitting the top of the oven and the bottom and knocking it off of the track. My son suggested taking the cooking pan out, although I wasn't feeling too good about that because of all the juices that can fall out. And still, the chicken wings are getting caught up on the top and the bottom heating elements, which is a recipe for disaster. Uh, no, I'm going to call this quits. This is a failure. Um, as it's spinning, it's getting kind of knocked loose from the trussing. You can see it just getting all over the top heating um, elements and the bottom heating elements. No, this is a no. And it's very disappointing. Instant Pot on the oven is a fail on the rotisserie. So now we're going to try it just roasting it with the temperature probe. And it says use the temperature probe. In the thickest part of the chicken, they suggest putting it into the breast, so that's what we're gonna do. Comes with this little protective cap. We'll take that off and insert the temperature probe into the chicken breast. Just kind of straight in so that you're not hitting any bone. And then we will 
here you can see a better view of that putting that temperature probe in our chicken is still trussed um and then once you open the oven door and slide the chicken on this cooking pan in you'll see and the chicken the oven is cold now because i let it cool off because you don't want to be handling this while it's hot there's a port on this uh, right side to plug the temperature probe in it's got a little cover on it so you open that port insert the temperature probe that side into that port and close the door set it for roast now you can set the temperature that you want your chicken to reach which the uh, usda recommends 165 degrees set it up or down as you like and then you set the oven temperature i'm going to leave it at 400 degrees and if you touch the uh the word probe there then you can see what the thermometer that thermometer probe is reading 51 degrees is the temperature of the chicken now 165 degrees is the temperature that we are shooting for and when it gets there we get an alarm and we've got a beautifully roasted chicken. Yeah, all the drippings are caught on this tray. And this is why I didn't want to rotisserie it with no tray because all those drippings would be down on the bottom of that unit hitting the heating elements and maybe causing a fire. The chicken came out nice and juicy. It was cooked all the way through in the thigh and it was quite delicious. So as a straight up air fryer oven, it works fine, just the rotisserie does not. We also made the coconut shrimp recipe that, um, you, that comes in this book and you air fry it. My daughter actually made this. She assembled all the ingredients and air fried it. We followed the recipe. It does not call for spraying the shrimp with oil. You absolutely need to spray the shrimp with a little oil because it was a little dry, but the taste was good. When we did a second batch, I should say when she did a second batch, she sprayed it with oil and it was much, much better. So the recipe itself is pretty good. The, the, it just needs a little spritz with oil. So I would definitely recommend giving that recipe a try. Um, but it just seems like the recipes for this book really don't showcase what this oven is supposed to be able to do. This oven also has a proof function so you can proof and then bake your bread. There's no bread recipe in here. So there is a QR code here in front of the recipe book that leads you to the Instant Pot um, app. And there are more recipes there. Unfortunately, it's not very well organized. So I couldn't find recipes that were specifically written for use with this Instant Pot OmniPro oven. I found a bread recipe and I'm going to give that a shot. Unfortunately, the app is poorly organized, so you can't say search by the type of product that you're using, like the Instant Pot Omni Pro, and find recipes for that. I found one recipe that had a proofing time and temperature that I could use with this oven, and um, I'll show you this in my next video, so stay tuned for that. But I wish that Instant Pot would support their products and give us recipes so we can use them right away. It it doesn't really show you how to use this oven for baking bread. So you kind of have to figure it out for yourself. And that has been my biggest issue with Instant Pot's um, brand in general, is that they come up with these products um, pretty quickly. And they're interesting, and I always want to try them, but they don't tell you how to use them. And they don't give you clear instructions. I had the same issue with the um the instant pot uh with the one uh, the ultimate lid and it doesn't tell you really how to use it they don't have instructions online or a recipe book or anything to tell you how to use these products so that is my biggest problem with this oven well that and the rotisserie just doesn't work well at all um i mean if you can't rotisserie a chicken on the rotisserie what are you going to rotisserie it is a bit disappointing. So what can I say? I'm going to have to give this a thumbs down. I cannot recommend 
the Instant Pot Omni Pro Oven. Uh, if you have any more questions or comments, please leave them in the uh, comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell. And y'all have a delicious day. No. <laughs>